a beautiful cloudy day. This will warm up a little bit today, but it's chilly right now. How's the swamp? Ooh, Lord. Bigfoot was walking in there. <clears throat> Not good. Look at that. That looks like shit. It's all empty containers. Which I need to do something with as soon as it dries up this weekend. Weekend's supposed to be like almost 50. So, starting my next load of shred. Got uh, two boilers in there that I took apart. Computers. <clears throat> A little bit of time. Finished cleaning that crapple that I've had since the other house. It was just wires, and I figured out how to get the uh, power supplies and stuff out of them. There's actually... Oh. So your power supply fits in there. I don't remember what was in there. But uh, in these holes, there's either Phillips head screws or there's a Torx. Well, it was actually both. And that pops off. So this is still breakage because this piece is metal. But the rest of it's aluminum, so... <clears throat> but to get the stuff out... It's uh, not too bad. So today I'm going to go through this spot right here and move some of this crap. I got CD-ROMs. I got, oh lord, CD-ROMs. And I got CD-ROMs. <laughs> so... Got the heat on in here a little bit. Made a hole. So I did like, oh, three of these stacks yesterday. So I'm gonna do a whole bunch more today. I'm gonna work on these until I get them done. And then I have a bunch of empty shells here that have to go outside. <coughs> Those gotta go in the van. Those gotta go in the breakage. So. Yeah, I was out here last night till, I don't know, 8 o'clock, 8.30. I went in, ate dinner, about 5, came back out and putzed around here for a few more hours. Got the big motor in there in the corner by itself. So, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. No, I'm not going live, Chris, at board sort, so don't ask. Got my breakfast, my beet powder, my banana nut muffin, my banana and my orange juice. You can't get any more healthier than that. Come on now. So I figured I'd take a stab in the dark as much as I hate dealing with people. Um, I put these connectors on Marketplace and those port deals over there. So I figured I get 10 bucks a piece. If somebody offers me eight, I'll take it. I don't care. They're free. And then these here, you know, these are worth five bucks a bag, I would guess. There was some st some stupid moron that said, oh, I'll give you 20 cents a pound for them. But we won't say who that was. <coughs> Chris Borford. So, then I was going through uh, some stuff up here on the bench. Uh, like heat sinks. Now, this one here is, I think... That base right there is copper. You just heat that up, pop right off. So that one's easy to do. Um, and then I was looking at these, because I used to heat these up to take the copper off. So I sent a picture to my yard manager, because um, they're usually considered refinery ends. But the refinery ends are more aluminum than copper. To where these are more copper than aluminum. So he said he'd give me a dollar forty a pound for these. So that's pretty good. And they're pretty heavy. You, know, you get a little, a little bit of weight on those. Um, oh, and my boilers. That's all the copper from the boilers. So at two ninety-five a pound, they're sixty-nine pounds, that's two hundred and three dollars. There's thirty-two of those. So there you go. Got those going. <clears throat> and my neighbor right next door to me gave me some more shred, so I'll throw those in the uh, in the shred pile. I gotta start doing something with uh, uh, 
all these uh, PCI cards. Got there, got there. Got to get them all clean. There's some in that box there. These might even be clean. I might already be on a on a roll. Yeah, these are all clean. No brackets. Cool. All right, so those are done. So, so I'm thinking I might either clear off that shelf right there and get these boxes <clears throat> either take the things out of the boxes because a couple of the boxes I'm going to keep because they're nice heavy duty boxes uh, and get this opened up because I want an open spot here because I want to put that black refrigerator here I still want to move that damn thing because that's the stove that goes with the refrigerator so get that done and then get some uh, barrels and stuff in here start getting stuff out of the yard which is my plan to start with because if I have this lined up with my totes or my you know my uh, trash bins whatever those things are with the wheels on it then when I get computers in I can put them in one spot and then I'll have to take them apart right away so they don't pile up so I won't have the room for them because all my bins will be over here see 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 y'all see and let's see what's I think this shit's gonna go in the trash because I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't know where it came from. What do you got here? Mini me. Just try me. It don't work. So, so yeah, I don't know what to do with these damn things. I kept the uh, fat bastard one. Back when I used to uh, clean out houses, they were probably in a house or something. I don't know. Ooh, I gotta get that chill out of here. Stand by, we gotta do our morning routine here. Hold on. chill out real quick <clears throat> so there's my update that's what I'm doing computers 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 and I still gotta find somewhere to put all these totes so I say if I can get that moved get that black piece of crap moved over here where it belongs Take that little white one, which is my garage fridge, and put that over there. Clean that off so I can get these boxes added away. I got a couple of these uh, routers too. I don't know if these are any good or not. AC gigabit router, 2.4 gig, 5G, concurrent dual band. So I don't know. Bottom of this box is full of them, so there's probably like six or eight of them in there. And then the rest of that is all those uh, connector ends, which is what's in those smaller boxes down there too. So there's eight bags, I think, or ten bags, or some crap. I don't know what this thing says. It says 500 connectors is in this box, so there's 50 in a bag, so that would be 500. So, yeah, move the fridge, clear that off. I want to get that fridge over there this weekend. And then I want to take that shelf out of there, which means I have to move all my interweb stuff. I want to take this bench, slide it into the corner, and then put my computer and all that crap on this end of it. And still have all this here to work with. And then that'll give me more room over here for something. Something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So yeah, now I got to start a new uh, a new bin for these things. Another category. <clears throat> I'm gonna sit down one day and count all the categories and stuff I deal with between the scrapyard and boardsnort.com. You ever listen to Shark Scrap? Oh, boardsort.com. Why can't you just say boardsort? Everybody knows what boardsort is. You don't need a .com. 
Good God. Yeah, I'll do it. I gotta do another shark scrapper. I need to sweep the deck. <laughs> My deck is dirty. I got a dirty deck. <laughs> uh, what would I do without these people to pick up? Another piece of aluminium. Yeah, and then I got two more uh, aluminum computer cases yesterday. There's a couple more in that pile, I'm sure. Got another crate almost full of hard drives to go. Need four. There's seven crates of hard drives plus a bucket. That's a lot of weight. That's like 50 pounds. So it's one, two, three, 350, 50, 370. I bet it's close to 400 pounds of just hard drives with boards that I'll get screwed on. <coughs> As always. Ooh, this is the warm spot. Stand right here. Heat from there, coming through there, hitting me. I like it. Shark Scrapper! <laughs> Alright. Must have got too much sleep last night. Uh, anything else? Anything else? <coughs> I don't think so. I'm just gonna empty my garbage can. Finish filling up my shred bucket. Throw that in the van. Throw those in the van. Throw those in the van. And those are connector ends there. That's one of the big tall buckets too. And there's a, another bucket back there and connector ends. Wire that I gotta separate. I just do it all in bins. So got that tote there full. That tote there full. Gotta go through that. But uh, like I said, I'm uh, on a good roll for doing computers and shreds. You know up to a whole 160 a ton now so eight cents a pound so hopefully it keeps going up and i only got one ceramic yesterday but it was a ceramic you count it it did count so all right guys so i'm gonna get back to work i'm gonna take these off real quick these two seconds got some uh little bit of brass in there And uh, like I said, I got my uh, 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 boilers done. I took one apart yesterday morning, and a couple hours later, I got another one. So I took that apart. So like I said, these are done. So there's 200 bucks sitting there, whatever. <coughs> Until the price drops, I don't know. You never know. You never know. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> I need to find some room for stuff. There's some number two copper over here hanging out. Doing nothing. So that means I can take my number two and put it in here where it says number two. And then I can wipe this thing out. And take my iSeries CPUs that I've been getting and put them in there where they belong. I used to have three, five, and seven. I used to separate them. <clears throat> but I don't know where my three and my seven went. Yes, sir. Up in there. One of those. I don't know. They gone. Gone, gone, and gone. Why does everybody want to text me? It's only freaking not even nine o'clock yet. Leave me alone, people. Leave me alone. So. Alright guys, also today is my mother's 82nd birthday, if she was still here. So, happy birthday mom, miss you. And uh, with that, I will call it a video. So, y'all need to buy all this crap off me. Because I'm just a poor white boy that lives in Michigan. Maybe Chris will give me 20 cents a pound for these. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So, appreciate y'all. Stay safe. Keep doing what you're doing. And...
from my peoples in California. This is Josie. Hope you're uh, not dealing with this rain. If you are, be safe. I don't want to have to come out there and rescue you, but you know I will. So, take care, guys. Talk to you all later.